Welcome back everyone. So if you enjoy the gaming on your Windows PC and laptop, then you must change these six Windows settings right now to optimize your computer for the best gaming experience. Without any delay, let's quickly get started. Now on number one, we have the game mode option, which you might have heard from a lot of creator that recommend you to enable it. But why you should enable the game mode option? So whenever you are running a game, the game mode option prevent Windows update from performing driver installation and sending the restart notification that helps achieve a more stable frame rate depending on the specific game and your system. So it's very simple to enable. Click on your Windows search, type game mode. Then from the suggestion, you have to click on game mode setting. And here you'll find the game mode option and that says optimize your PC for play by turning things off in the background. So simply enable this option. Now once you have enabled the game mode, I also recommend that you should go ahead and disable the Xbox game bar. So here in the settings search only you have to type Xbox. Then you will be getting enable Xbox game bar, click on it and then you have to disable this option. Once you are done, now you can close it. And now next we have to disable the unwanted graphic and the animation. So click on your Windows search. And there you have to type a simple command that will be sysdm.cpl. Hit the enter key. Now this will bring up the system properties. Now here from the top menu option, you have to click on advanced. Then in the performance, you have to click on settings. And this will bring up the performance option. This will be by default set to let Windows choose what's best for my computer. Now you will find that once it's been checked, there are lots of animations that are being enabled. So this will give you the best result, no doubt, best animation while using the Windows 11. But I think enjoying the gaming is the more priority for you. So what we can do, we can disable this unwanted animation so that we can get the more resources for gaming instead of animating the Windows 11. Okay, so what you will have to do, here you will find an option that says adjust for best performance. Select this option and all these options will be unchecked. Now here you have to enable the two different animation that is required, which is shoe thumbnail instead of icon. Then you will find a smooth edges of a screen font. Once selected, click on apply, click on OK and then click on OK again. And now next click on your Windows search, type mouse. And from the suggestion, you have to click on mouse setting. Then here is scroll down and in the related setting, you will find additional mouse setting. Click on it. Now here in the mouse properties, you will find pointer option. Click on it. And here you will find enhance pointer precision. Now it is recommended for all the gamers that they should go ahead and disable this enhance pointer precision feature. The reason is that the feature does not have a linear increase across the board and therefore it is hard for it to be completely accurate. So simply uncheck this option. Then you have to click on apply, click on OK and then you can close it. And now next we have to enable the ultimate performance power plan. So for that click on your Windows search, type power CFG dot CPL. Hit the enter key again and here you will find all kind of your power plan. You can see I have already enabled the ultimate performance, but on your end, you will not find this option and you have to manually enable it using a command prompt. Now, before enabling it, let me clarify that what exactly it does. So basically, the hard disk or SSD is set to never stop spinning in the ultimate performance power plan, which can improve performance for some application, but sometimes it can also consume more battery usage. So basically, if you're not concerned about it, and you only need the performance so you can enable this option. So in order to enable it, you have to click on your Windows search, type CMD, click on command prompt. Now you'll be getting a command in the description. You need to copy and make a right click on this black window and it will be automatically pasted. Then you have to hit the enter key. And once you hit the enter key, you will find that the ultimate performance power plan will be enabled. In case if it doesn't show up, then you have to reopen it and then you will find the ultimate performance. Simply check it and then you are all done. Close it. And now in the next step, we have to manage the Windows storage. 
So for that, you have to right click on the Windows icon, click on settings. From the left hand menu option, click on system. Then scroll down and you will find the storage option. Now why I'm recommending you to run this option because there are a lot of junk file, temporary file, the cache file that can sometime ruin your experience. And it's always recommended that you should clean your computer at least once or twice a month. You even get the storage sense option, but I do not recommend it. And I always recommend that you should manually come to this option and clean all kind of junk. So you can better keep this option enable of a storage sense, but you have to come to a temporary file, click on it. Then it will calculate all kind of categories that is occupying the temporary file. So you might find the download option, the recycle bin option, the old windows installation folder. So if you do not need it, then simply check all of them. Then you have to click on remove file. Click continue. So this will basically create some more space in your drive and even it will improve the performance. And now let's move with the last and the sixth one that is additional and that is related to your network adapter. Now I also want that you should get the better and the stable internet connection with the low ping and the latency. For that again you have to click on your windows search. Type ncpa.cpl Now I am sharing all these commands so that you should be aware that how you have to open this setting with one single command. Ok so type it hit the enter key. Now this will list you all kind of your network adapter. Now it's always recommended that if you do the gaming on your computer then you must go ahead and switch from the Wi-Fi to the Ethernet connection because the Ethernet will give you the huge difference. You will be getting the lower ping and the more stable connection. Okay, so once you come to the network adapter, right click on the Ethernet, click on properties. Now here you have to click on configure. This will bring up another box here from the top menu option. Click on power mm -hmm. management. And uncheck this option that says allow the computer to turn off this device to save power. Uncheck it. Then from the top menu option only click on advanced. And here you have to disable the adaptive interframe spacing. Select it from the right hand side choose disabled. Flow control you have to disable it. Then scroll down to speed and duplex. Now speed and duplex depends that what kind of internet connection speed you are getting right now. If you're getting the internet connection speed that is below 100 Mbps like 13, uh, 50, 80 Mbps then from the value section you have to choose 100 Mbps full duplex. But if you're getting the internet speed more than 100 Mbps like 200, 300, 500 then from the drop downs choose 1 Gbps full duplex. Once you are done click on OK. Next again right click on the ethernet connection. Click on properties, double click on internet protocol version 4 and here we have to change the DNS address. So select the second option that says use the following DNS server address. Now here in the preferred and the alternate either you have to go with the Cloudflare or with the Google DNS address. But how you will find that which one is best for you? So in order to find it out, click on your windows search, type cmd. Click on command prompt and here you have to run a ping. The first we will ping the Google server. So type ping space 8.8.8.8 .8 hit the enter key and within a second it will let you know that what kind of minimum maximum and the average MS you are getting. So on my end I'm getting around 16 MS from the Google. Now let's also check the Cloudflare and whichever will be the lowest one that we will use as our preferred and the alternate DNS address. So in order to ping the Cloudflare you have to type ping space 1.1.1.1 Hit the enter key again. Okay now you can see that from the Cloudflare we are getting the minimum of and the average of 14 MS. So we are getting the lower ping as comparison to the Google one. Okay so on my end the Cloudflare is better but you have to find out on your end whichever is the lowest one that you have to use as the preferred and the alternate DNS address. So both the IP you will be getting in the description. For the Cloudflare the preferred will be 1 1 1 and 1 and the alternate will be 1 0 0 and 1. Click on OK. Click on OK and now you can close it and now we are all done. 
simply go ahead and restart your computer restart your modem and this time you will find a great difference your computer will be optimized you will be getting the better performance better speed without any kind of lagging and even i'm expecting that you will be getting the better fps while gaming on your computer so that's all guys and hopefully you will find this video helpful and if yes do not forget to like and subscribe and i see you in the next video Bye bye